It's not your fault, Stafford. Your battery has been acting up for the past few days. Guess it's time to replace it. Oh yeah, hear that, boys? Stafford has finally become old. Looks like it's time to replace him. Yeah, little Stafford is all out of steam. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he's not a steam engine. Whose whistle is that? Oh, what a quaint yard we have here. Hello, sir. I'm here with your package from the Earl. Oh, hello, Blend. I thought the Earl was going to send us in the mail. Ha ha ha. Well, you know how the Earl is. Why put off tomorrow what you can do today? That's what he said. Well, thank you, Blen. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another issue I have to take care of. Hey, check out the kettle pot over there. Do you think he serves warm tea or iced tea? You know, I could really go for an Arnold Palmer on the rocks. Oh no, she's here. Rebecca, you're here. On time. Yes. Well, I was making record time with the last express train I pulled. So I decided to come over and get coal and water. Am I too early? It looks like you haven't even started collecting my trucks yet. Oh no, Rebecca, it's not that. My battery just won't keep a charge, so I am stuck. Your train is every truck that's here. They just need to be shunted together. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mind doing the shunting myself, once I'm done over here. But that would cause you to be late. This train needs to get to the docks for that ship that's going out. Excuse me, sir, but what if I shunt the train? What? You? You look like you could fall apart any moment! I'd rather stick with Mr. Battery over there. Please, sir. Let me give it a try. Hmm. Well, we have nothing to lose. Might as well try. Are you sure you can handle it, Glyn? Those trucks are heavy. Well, as a small tank engine once said, little engines can do big things. <coughs> oh, come on! Move! Be careful, Tattle. You don't want to ruin the tea you're making. Glyn, don't hurt yourself. I'll take over. No, I can do it. This teapot has some steam in him yet. Now, get a move on! Hey, I'm moving. <sighs> One down. <laughs> That's a good engine, Glyn. You show them! I still got it. Thank you, Glyn. Great show. Wow. 
well, Glenn. I couldn't believe it when the manager called me over, but after seeing you firsthand, I am proud to admit I was wrong to be worried. You really are an enterprising engine. Thank you, sir. Does this mean I can get my own book or show now? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, can I?